Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to the announcement video for the Which Canoe is the Best Canoe Mock Tournament. So this is coming about because, as some of you might remember, I did a video yeah, some time ago uh, talking about uh, canoe holes of the kind uh, which I've made a lot of and there's a few varieties. Uh, it turns out there's a lot of different ways to get a roughly canoe pointy at both end shapes in From the Depths. And while it's definitely not the most volume efficient hull you can have, it's, it is fun and it's the kind that I'm just in the habit of making. Like, you know, like I'm the canoe man. It's a meme. I can't escape it. I will never escape it. So let's lean into it a bit. So this is a mock tournament and what that means is, is that uh, I'm the only participant. Very lonely, uh, <laughs> very lonely exercise I guess. So uh, all these canoes you're seeing on screen right now. Uh, made by me, just for giggles. None of them are fully complete craft, so to speak. Uh, they're just holes with engines, propellers, and crams on them, because cram canoes are my favorite thing, even though they're definitely not the best thing. But anyway, so, uh, popping up on screen right now, future me, please remember to do this, otherwise we're both going to be very embarrassed, is the rules and the brackets and the whole uh, background behind this thing. Well, not background. Support information. So, uh, in the custom battle simulator is where this is going to happen. Uh, the two teams, because it is going to be teams, more on that in a second, um, start 1,500 meters apart, head-to-head, -head, custom battle simulator with standard rules. So, it's things like 80% uh, in sinking, you despawn, uh, below 55% health, uh, you despawn, stuff like that. Team are roughly equal in material cost, e.g. it'll be... Uh, two 100,000 material craft versus one 200,000 material craft. Incidentally, I tried to work out a nice neat formula for that uh, and it completely failed. I was in fact about to uh, record uh, the first match of this mock tournament and it was just my formula ended up with way off results. So we're gonna do the spectacularly unmathematical and unsexy unscientific uh, method of just eyeballing it. So yeah, so just as well this is a mock tournament and no one's ego except mine is on the line. Uh, so the winner of uh, each round is the one with the highest health, just flat highest health, doesn't matter if it's like 0.0% higher, or the last one with functional weaponry after the time limit of about 10 minutes. So each round is 10 minutes long, no extensions, and it's best of three, no draws or rematches, so assuming I don't talk too much, which does sometimes happen, uh, each uh, tournament video is going to be about uh, half an hour long. Uh, eliminated craft get ceremoniously canooked. So what that means is, is that uh, we've got a lovely little canook that I made some time ago. Where's the new canoe? New canoe connection. Uh, here it is. Just that little fella. Whoops. Right here. Just a little breadboard powered canoe impersonator. Uh, which does a great job at running into things and blowing up. So, uh, that is what is awaiting any uh, craft which are eliminated for this tournament. So it's double elimination, so you basically have to lose two fights in order to get kicked out entirely and get canooked. But it bears mentioning that uh, the winning craft also gets ceremoniously canooked, ceremoniously, simply because we like explosions and, like, you know, uh, a good canoe is one that can survive a nuking or two. So, as to the actual brackets, uh, there's five canoes in total, which makes it a pain in the ass uh, to get uh, workout brackets. So, unfortunately, some canoes are going to get to fight more than others. Just as well, this is a mock tournament. I must refrain from just using the excuse, it's a mock tournament, to deflect any and all criticism. Please do criticize. Like, you're, gonna, you're probably going to do that anyway, but, like, please feel free. This is a mock tournament. It's for fun. Uh, but do say if you think I'm doing something completely wrong. Uh, so, canoe number one is over here, so Staggered Slopes is the unofficial name I'm giving it. And uh, they all have standardized weaponry, by the way. These cram turrets are all exactly the same. So it's just uh, a little necklace pancake turret, AP, uh, HE with frag, uh, that does pack uh, a decent wallop. Not amazing, uh, but decent. And it has a whole bunch of cram mortars as well, which is just essentially filling up the pointy parts of the canoe, which don't have room for more turrets. And uh, yeah, so different canoes, you get different uh, volumes of stuff. And uh, in particular, these two over here ended up being sli having slightly wider and longer interiors, which is why 
they get more turrets, and so we'll have to see if that actually helps them or not. It probably will, but then again it might not. Mock tournament, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, so yeah, like, we're just going to eyeball the different material costs. Uh, canoe 1 versus Canoe 2 is fight 1, fight 2 is Canoe 3 and 4, G Canoe 5 will win, will fight the winner of fight 1, and so forth and so forth. 8 fights in total, uh, 3 of them in the loser's bracket, so who knows, we might get Canoes clawing back uh, from the brink of complete and utter defeat, which is exciting. So yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for uh, this announcement. I hope you enjoy, I hope, like, I'm definitely going to enjoy it, because it's Canoes and Crams, and those always make me happy. But in any case, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or use your membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you in round one of which canoe is the best canoe mock tournament. See you there and farewell.